Hi, Chris Cameron Kamichi here on this uh, Florida rainy day, and uh, I just had a thought, uh, something I'd like to share with my YouTube viewers. And uh, today's, or th this topic I'm going to talk to you now is called uh, Learn to Be a Wheeler Dealer. Uh, in other words, don't always pay retail. Uh, do your best to hold on to your money so it goes farther. Because there's two parts to money. One is acquiring it, the other part is spending it. And Americans are really good at spending money. Um, my uncle's a wheeler dealer and I've become kind of a wheeler dealer. I do my best to wait and get a good deal on something uh, and uh, save my money for something else. Turns out your money can go a lot farther. So, what am I talking about being a wheeler dealer is, let's say you want uh, uh, something. And we'll say, I, I want to uh, get my first fishing boat. You know, just a regular center console boat. Um, you could run to the dealer and buy it, and put it in the water, and pay, you know, 25, 35 grand, you know, and have payments. Maybe you have good credit. Is that really how you want to spend your money? Is that how you want to spend your credit? Uh, eventually, you get to the point where you can't buy on credit and you have boat payments and if you have payments that's even more expensive I've talked about the time cost of money it's better to be able to pay cash and only pay on time when you absolutely must for necessities like typically it's hard to buy your first house without buying it on time you, know, you might be really clever and get a close out or an auction on a house and then you can live in a buddy's house while you fix it up because it's a dump and uh, not have to buy it on time but it's pretty rare so what I'm talking about is if you see uh, the kind of boat you want, um, I'm sure they made them last year or something similar, or they made them three or four years ago, look at the quality of a used boat as it goes back in time versus the reliability and the cost, and find something that fits what you're looking for, fits what you're looking for, and uh, what you're willing to, to live with, all right? Um, and for instance, I'm okay with a used boat. Some people like new, some people can afford new. I prefer to get um, a pre-owned automobile or a pre-owned boat that's in very good condition that will save me a lot of money. So instead of spending, say, $30,000, um, I can get one for eight that's several years old. Now that's just an example. Say, oh, well, I don't have any money. That's why I'm watching these videos. I, I want to get something else. You know, my my uncle was a champion at the Wheeler Dealer. His his thing was to almost never pay retail. You know, even if you're buying food, you can't buy used food. You know, you could maybe buy it at a Big Lots or a Savers or a, in different areas. There's different stores that that sell discounted food or things like that. We, we're going to get away from food because that's a a trickier area. And also, you can get generic brands. There's certain things I like name brand, but others generic and save some money, you know, and that adds up too. But uh, being a wheeler dealer means that everything you're going to spend money on, whether it's food or uh, supplies or anything like that, or materials or a car or an education, you want to get the best deal on. So, uh, you want to keep your eye out for the ads. You want to check Craigslist. Um, recently, we replaced our sofa. I think I ever mentioned it in another video. Rather than go out and buy a two or three grand leather sofa that we wanted, we were willing to get one that was pre-owned from you know a good home. This doesn't mean it was out in the rain. It smells like cats or dogs or cigarettes. Um, we found it uh, on Craigslist, and uh, even in the used shops, some that were close were around eight hundred dollars rather than 1500 but they weren't suitable and we really wanted something cheaper. We found one on Craigslist for $400. It was a, uh, I think it was a five-piece sectional and we got that for $400 and knew it was about five grand and the people had, it had this tiniest bit of wear on it. It was almost unworn. So we really got a good deal on it and even though I got a good deal on it, I'm not in a position uh, and don't want to spend my time hauling furniture. So I'm not going to say much. Now I used to do that when I had more time and, and stuff. But now I paid a, um, somebody I know, a good handyman, to haul it for me. And so, uh, you know, I paid him, you know, some money to haul it for me. And 
So you can get good deals. You have to have patience, and I've mentioned patience. You have to keep your eyes open. I must have checked Craigslist for two to three months and looked at three or four sofas during that time, you know, with my wife to make sure she was on board. And there was something wrong. It had a lot more wear than we wanted, or it wasn't the right configuration. This thing was like freaking perfect. So we were very patient. We got a heck of a deal. Now, could I pass that deal on to you? No, but the mindset can be passed on because you weren't in my area. The deal is done. There was one of them. A lot of these are onesies, you know. So check on Craigslist. Check in the paper if you're a member of a church. Check, you know, say that you're looking for a sofa. Uh, maybe they have a bulletin board. Or if you're at school and you're looking for used books. Uh, I like to buy used textbooks when I need textbooks. Um, you know, so always be looking for a deal. Uh, do your best to avoid paying full retail. Uh, when you're looking for clothes, look for sales, look for thrift shops, look at um, yard sales. Uh, you can save a tremendous amount of money. I mentioned that on my first professional job, or second one actually, I didn't want to spend five to seven hundred dollars for appropriate clothes for that job. So I went to a thrift shop, a rummage sale, at a local charitable organization and uh, waited for the bag day where I paid five dollars a bag, got a couple bags and I had several mini shirts and several pants and slacks. Um, obviously, you know, the line of socks and underwear and stuff you don't really want to buy used. Um, there, you know, it doesn't mean you buy everything used, but um, out of that lot some had rips, some had tears, some had stains. But I still got four or five good sets of clothes out of that for $10. So if you have the patience to keep your eyes open and look at the paper, look at the shops, look at events, um, and maybe you like to shop and buy new at the, at the mall, that's fine. That's how you're spending your money. That's all you're going to get. That's fine. Your money won't go as far, and, and you can wait for sales. Um, my wife and daughter, they like to shop with... Uh, some of the shops that give them a, a credit for how much they spend and so they make out really well they get multiple sales and multiple discounts anyway that's my thing is try to be a wheeler dealer and pay as little as reasonably possible um, I'm not saying offend anybody but look for deals and save your money for something else thanks everybody for watching if you like the video please uh, give it the you know give it the like hit the like button and uh, if you like, maybe subscribe. Thank you for watching.